Hi, welcome to GTEC. Let us talk about morphology in plants. You can see the root here. It has a various region. This region is called maturation and this is called elongation. And below it is called meristematic activity. You can see the root cap here and this portion is called root here. In plant morphology, the plant consists of leaves, fruits, flowers, stem and roots. You can see it over here. Let us see the plant morphology. In plant morphology, we are going to see the shoot system and root system. And the type of root is the tap root. And now we are going to see what are the parts the plant have. That is it has a root cap and lateral roots and this portion is called stem. The plant have a leaf. It contains a patiole and blade which is represented over here. This is blade and this portion is called patiole. You can see the bud of branch, which is nothing but it is going to be a flower, and this is axillary bud, which is starting to the bud of branch, and this portion is internode, and here the node is represented over here, and this is the apical bud, that is the growth of the bud. And this is nothing but a flower. So these are all parts the plant have. Let us see about roots. It has a function of it absorbs water and minerals that is anchor plant. You can see anchor plant here. It absorbs water minerals from the land. It has a fibrous. The fibrous is depicted over here here there is no main root it falsely absorbs the surface water and it holds the soil to prevent the erosion you can see the root holds the soil now we are going to see about root system the system has tap a main root and smaller secondary roots and it has strong anchorage it absorbs deep waters you can see the tab and main root the smaller secondary roots here the modified roots is depicted it is nothing but aquatic and this root is used for climbing surfoot here you can see the prop roots it is used for additional support to grip the sand Let us see about stems that is woody stems you can see the woody stems over here it is called the woody stems it consists of terminal bud lateral bud node leaf scar and terminal bud scar and below bundle scars this portion is called internode which is represented over here now let's see about stems stems are classified in modified stems in modified stems has thorns for protection you can see thorns on a stem it is used to protect its stems and it has a tuber you can see the tuber over here which is used for storage purpose and modified stems also has a stolon for reproduction you can see the stolon which is used for reproduction of daughter plant from mother plant and it also have a comb comb is here it is also used for a storage purpose you can see it over here it is a comb
and the important one is it has tendrils this is called a tendrils it is used for supporting and climbing here you can see the trend is used for climbing something now we are going to see about leaves leaves can be divided into monocot leaves dicot leaves the monocot leaves has a parallel veins you can see the parallel veins here whereas the dicot leaves has nectar veins here you can see the veins and here the vein is here which is depicted over here this is vein and the center point on is midrib and in between vein it is called blade here the petiole this is called stipule followed by monocot the dicot leaves are classified into three types first one is simple dicot leaves you can see it over here and compound dicot leaves and the other one is doubly compound dicot leaves you can see the differences of leaves here let us talk about monocot versus dicot monocot has fibrous root system whereas dicot has tab root system you can see the fiber root and tab root over here it is the difference between both of them and monocot has parallel veins a dicot has netted veins the parallel veins and netted veins depicted over here and the important one is monocot has vascular bundles scattered whereas the dicot has vascular bundles in a ring you can see the differences here is the monocot stem and dicot stem here the bundles are scattered so it is called vascular bundle scatter here the bundles in a ring so it is called vascular bundles in a ring you can see the differences here let us see about the monocot characteristics in monocot the seeds have only one cotyledon you can see it contains only one cotyledon monocot flower pods which is in 3 or multiples of 3 you can see here the petals are 1 2 3 4 5 6 it has six petals here in monocots the xylem and phloem tubes are scattered throughout the stem you can see in monocot leaves it contains the parallel pattern whereas the dicot characteristics are here the seeds have two cotyledons you can see the dicot seed it has two cotyledon here the flower pods it has a forest or fibrous leaves you can see the dicot flower over here it contain two cotyledon and the petals are in the number of forest or fibrous you can see over here and here the xylem and phloem in a ring pattern you can see the ring pattern over here here the leaves have a netted pattern and this shows the leaves have the netted pattern which is represented over here so now why do we want to know these or all the things because a lawn weed spray skill only dicots and herbicides will only monocots the gardener should know about the monocot and dicots here is challenge thank you for watching from gtech